promises they cannot keep. Bengaluru's lack of preparedness exposed within a few hours of pre-monsoon showers. What it also exposed was the sheer apathy of Bengaluru's civic bodies who refused to acknowledge the gravity of the situation. Bengaluru last year in 2016 experienced flash floods in the month of August and just right two months later, that is in the month of October, uh, the BBMP had sanctioned a project and earmarked 800 crore rupees just to remodel and diesel the stormwater drains across the city. But however, talking to the uh, chief engineer of stormwater drains, what he told us was the delay was uh, the reason behind the delay was uh, calling for the tenders and it took them nearly six months. But however, that has been no that will be no excuse to the number of deaths that has been caused due to the stormwater drain. 35-year-old Shanta Kumar, a civic worker employed by the Bruhat Bengaluru Mahanagar Palika for rebuilding the walls of a stormwater drain, washed away in the strong current. Two days later, authorities have still not managed to locate the man who risked his life to fix Bengaluru's stormwater drains. 13 excavation vehicles. 45 firefighters and 300 BBMP workers pressed into service, but in vain. Today we started uh, rescue operation from a spot to Bengaluru city, around 12 kilometers. Uh, then uh, to, today morning we continued from uh, Bengaluru city, Mysore Road Junction. Challenges both have, Skandar, because Ganda Pani you can see that Skandar is not in the नीचे से कुछ दिखता नहीं है कोई हम लोग स्पेशलाइज्ड इक्विपमेंट्स को इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकता है इसके अंदर बट दिस फैमिली स्टिल होपिंग अगेंस्ट होप वेटिंग फॉर एनी वर्ड ऑन द हस्बैंड द फादर एंड द सोल ब्रेड विनर यार ये हेल्ता ना यार मन हेतरनु बंदिला बंदिद्रो और ओलगडे बंदिला हंगे होगिदरे यार राजकीय व्यक्ति नु या एमएलए नु बंदिला न मन हेतर relentlessly been raising the problem of Bengaluru's killer drains but the Sidramaya government clearly still in denial how many lives will it take for the government to wake up mirror now report Watching the Urban Debate viewers, I'm Fred Souza. There's a very important reason why we've taken up this story today. I know that the, all of the other news channels at this point are talking about something else. But I believe that this story is very important. Yes, it is the story of only one man. Yes, it's the story of a man who was operating a JCB earth mover inside a stormwater drain in Bangalore. But this story points out to something very, very stark in our country that affects each and every one of us. We live in a country today, we live in cities, big cities, where half an hour of rain can wash away a life. Where half an hour of rain will wash away a life that will not be found for three whole days. This man's wife has spoken to our cameras and our reporters and said, nobody has come to meet me from the government. Nobody has come to give me any information. The wife and the nine-month-old baby are hoping that the husband will return to them at some point, but he was washed away by a storm three days ago in Bangalore, and they have not managed to find his body in Bangalore. It's not a seaside city. How are we losing people? Why is it that the drain silting work is happening now instead of two months ago? Why is it that the government waited until now to do this work instead of doing it two or three months ago? Was the rain a surprise to the, uh, to the government of Bangalore? Did you not know that you get pre-monsoon showers at a certain time of the year and that you get rain at a certain time of the year? And when one individual has in fact passed away or is missing, what does it take then for the government to reach out to the family, to speak to this man's wife, to speak to his family, reach out to them and inform them and keep them informed about what is happening. This points out to several things that are lacking in our city. First of all, respect for life. Today, it was this man Shantakumar. Tomorrow, it could be your child on the street who gets washed away by a rain in Bangalore, in Delhi, in Mumbai. We found that governments are inadequate and unprepared in every one of those cities. But this particular man signifies 
everything that is wrong right now and I believe that the Karnataka government must take responsibility. You must own up to the fact that you woke up too late, that the desilting work should not have been happening in the rain. That when this man meant, went missing, you should have reached out to his family. You should have spoken to the wife. The wife who has spoken to our reporter and said very, very clearly that no one from the government has reached out, that no one has spoken to her. And she has said very clearly, this is how poor people are treated. If he was a rich man, we would have been treated completely differently. Why is it that the government has no value for life if it's not a politician? If we are not VVIPs, our lives don't count. That's the question we're asking this evening. Who's going to take responsibility for Shanta Kumar? And when will he be found? And when will the government actually come together and take responsibility? Nagraj Yadav, spokesperson of the Congress Party in Bangalore, joins me on the show. Eshri Nath, BJP co-convener. Tanvir Ahmed, spokesperson of the JDS. Anil Nair is the deputy head of advocacy and reforms at Janagraha. D.H. Uh, Rajeshekran is the president of the Citizens Action Forum. And Peter Samson Babu is the state executive committee member for the forum of building a bribe-free Karnataka. I wish Samson Babu very, very good luck in his, uh, in his endeavor. Mr. Nagraj Yadav, please explain to me, why have we lost the life of Shantakumar? Where is he? And why hasn't the government managed to find him up till now? Ma'am, you you, first of all, I should compliment you. You are giving so much value for a life because that is what is required as a human beings in this country. I definitely compliment what was done. But this, in this particular Shantakumar case, it is a, it's an accident. It's unfortunate. And I feel very sorry for what has happened. And definitely I'm telling you, it's a wrong information. Whatever I heard till now, the family is not contacted. The wife's brother who was in, in charge of the construction there, completely involved there. And the local local authorities, completely the mayor and the uh, Bangalore city in charge, Mr. Mr. KJ George, the wife's brother, met the entire family there, communicated to them, says the government will stand by them. It's an accident which has happened. It is not that to be blamed anybody. This is not the time to blame, to, to have a blame game. We have to find a body whether uh, we only wish the body uh, should not, he should not be dead. He should, uh, he should not be, uh, we should not lose him. In case he is dead, we have to find the body for the family and give. That is a responsibility to the government and we will definitely do it. And whatever I heard till now saying that the government is not bothered for a life, it's not acceptable to us because we all want to respect every human being's life, whether it is the poor man's life, whether it is the politician's uh, uh, family's life. Life is a life. There is no doubt about it. And this is very unfortunate. And the government is taking, and the BBMP, BBMP and the in-charge minister, the mayor and the local MLA. See, even the local MLA doesn't belong to my party. I'm not going to have any political political game on this thing that everybody are involved there, including the entire family of that Shantukumar is involved in finding out this particular body map. The entire family of Shantukumar needn't be involved in finding the body. They should be uh, the, the trained no, people looking there. for the body. We are not telling them they're going and into the drain to search for it. If you're saying it's an accident, no, no, I'm not other. saying that going into the, they are there with the... If you're there saying the, it's an accident, if you're saying it's an body. accident, please tell me why desilting work in the stormwater drains are happening now and why this work did I not will, happen two months I, ago when it was it, not raining. Yeah, I will. I, I want to. I want to answer it. I want to answer you that desilting work of a strong water drain doesn't happen only at the day and time. It happened the whole of the year, 365 days, Bangalore uh, or, or strong water drain work goes on. It doesn't happen just because tomorrow rain is coming, today we are cleaning. That is not the case. I can show you the works which have been done for the whole year. Sorry. Well, if the work has I been done for the whole year, and then I'm going to open up to the panel really to the rest of the panelists, why is it then, Nagraj Yadav, that Bangalore City had waterlogging? Why is it that Bangalore City had blackouts when it rained over the weekend? And just because you're telling me that the entire government has been in touch with the family, I want to play out for you the wife. This is Shantukumar's wife who spoke to our reporter today. She's speaking in Kannada, no, no, but there are no, translations on the screen. I'm not no, telling no. that channel. You just did. I'm not you saying that channel is telling lies. I don't know. The you issue is very clear. Issue is very clear. The wife's family is completely was there in touch with the yes, agencies listen, and listen in, to in the wife the, herself, in, in Mr. Nagra minister, Mayor and Mr. everybody. Mr. Nagra yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, listen to the wife herself as she okay. spoke to our reporter today. Okay. Okay. She was upset. She was angry. She went out to say that this is how poor people are treated in this uh, in this country. Listen. Yen Elbeko Yaro Bru Rachki, a victing Kochi Kolea, Gwanto Gidre, or Bertililva, or Pereira Martililva. You Baduru Pereira, Mantalki, or Pereira Madakila Bandi Manetra. 
ಪರಿಹಾರ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ತಾನೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಬಡವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ರಾಜಕೀಯ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ರಾಜಕೀಯ ಇದೇ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಜಕೀಯ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇದೇ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ನನ್ನ ಗಂಡನೇ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ರಾಜಕೀಯ ಅನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನ ಗಂಡನೇ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಯಾರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರ ಯಾರು ಮನೆ ಹತ್ರನೂ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಬಂದಿದ್ರು ಅವ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಹಂಗೆ ಹೋಗಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾರು ರಾಜಕೀಯ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿನೂ ಯಾವ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎನೂ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆ ಹತ್ರ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಅವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಶಾಂತಕುಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಇದರ್ ಒಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಂ ಪಿ ಒಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಸಿಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಶಾಂತಕುಮಾರ್ ಲಿವ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೀನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಟುಡೇ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಹಬ್ ಬಿನ್ ದ ಬಿಗ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಶಾಂತಕುಮಾರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕವೇಟರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಮಚ್ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಅಸ್ ಐಮ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಪ್ ನಾವ್ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ರಾಜಶೇಖರನ್ ಯು ಹರ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮಿಸಿಸ್ ಶಾಂತಕುಮಾರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಅಬೌಟ್ no my my one minute my my i couldn't hear what 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 that lady spoke i that i couldn't hear that's very convenient so it's basically mr nagraj yadav she said no 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 it's a fact who's sitting next to no who's sitting next let to me there is person you can ask her let me repeat to you let me repeat to you what, what she said she said this is evidence yeah. if there was a yeah. big politician or a rich man who had died in this manner everybody would have gone to the house to pay their respects everybody would have gone to the house to ask what is happening no, nobody no, has come no. to my house no corporator no, 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 no. mla has come Shall to I my house thing? No, Nobody madam, has come to is, meet me. No, this is what said she has that, said. She said madam, this is how poor she, people are treated in no, this country. Madam, no, no. So, madam, I mean, madam, you, you want to, you want to go that. ahead and call this no, man's she, wife I'm, a liar at this point in her moment of grief, Mr. Nagaraj Yadav? I am not calling. I am... No, you, are, you don't put words in my mouth. I never said that. She must have said that. She must have said that. I am not saying that. The whole government is concerned about a single life of Shant, Shant Kumar. no question of denying it whether it is a poor man or rich man i told you in the beginning of the story very clearly saying that every life should be valued and government of karnataka is definitely uh, values is by this one and we will stand with the family all right let me open this up now ds rajshekharan president of the citizens action forum do you believe that the government has been prepared for the monsoon if the government was prepared for the monsoon would this tragedy have happened this shantakumar who was working who did not go home to his wife and his child that day madam firstly it is very sad that this incident has happened and secondly let me uh, answer to what mr Nag- nagaraj yadav was telling this is not the first incident many of them have already sacrificed their lives for dereliction of duty and negligence of bbmp and we have seen this 8 to 10 months back bangalore has flooded fishes have swam on the road boats have come on to the road for people to travel from one place to another is that not sufficient enough for bbmp to take corrective action and our our man is telling that desilting happens throughout the year we are not denying it but the tenders are being still called when are these desilting going to happen when the pre monsoon is already set does bbmp not take lessons from the past how many more lives have to be sacrificed is this not dereliction of duty has been one engineer or the concerned person who is uh, who is to be in charge on this projects be suspended or be taken into criminal action nothing has happened till now even in the past even now it will not happen there is only here say that yes we will take action but what action one person has lost life How and and one person has lost How their life one person and i want sir he has a 9 month old baby a 9 month yeah, old baby nobody that? to look who's after them the wife Maybe is saying yes, that nobody cares nobody has come from the government nobody has visited yeah. nobody has given any no, information tanvir ahmed tanvir ahmed is not I, required can because, i speak to you see what do politicians come and do i don't understand they will only come and make again hollow promises and go back a life is lost for that family no, no, madam, that I, I member like is gone question, please that member is gone please tell me nagra jada no. what response can the government of karnataka give us at this see, point please madam, offer us madam, any response see i definitely see, i told i madam see it is not it is not defending for every for everything defending the government is not my my concern i am telling you everybody should value their life 
whatever has happened is is a wrong thing whatever has happened is is a, it should be a concern of everybody in this country now the other panelist also was talking that the engineer action should be taken again definitely the, if there is a negligence is found by any officials we will definitely take action is one part second part i'm telling you the contractor who takes the uh, contracts to build this in a particular drain work or any any construction work we have some uh, rules and regulations in the tenders they should follow and they should protect the workers who are working there there are so many laws in everything there it is not only the engineer or bbmp and all they may be responsible they are responsible also even the contractor also responsible the wife's brother who is in charge of this particular work is mr basavraj or whatever is there he that person is very well knows very well he is there from the from the time this the accident has happened whole government knows whole government is involved much then in why hasn't anybody gone, gone to the meet the wife the chief engineer has gone Why hasn't anybody so gone to reach the voice? And I want to, I want to give opportunities now to other members of the panel to participate. One second, Nagraj Yadav, Tanvir Ahmed. We are not meeting her. How are Tanvir Ahmed? Yes, Madam. 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 Yes,
respecting the preparation of the plan, the implementation of plan, and the enforcement of these plans. Needless to say, all our cities move poorly. We don't have town planners in our no, country. But Anil, Anil, fact, respond, yeah. respond. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but respond to what yeah, Nagraj Yadav said. He said that this was a complete accident. The government has been doing all of its work, and this is no way to have avoided this accident. Is that true? If there was, the, was there no. absolutely no way to have avoided no. this this uh, uh, this tragedy that has taken place. See what we we see repeatedly across all cities is that governments across cities tend to do uh, band-aids to do spot works instead of fixing what are root causes. So this particular incident obviously would have been done in in terms of uh, in restricted time and uh, without adequate safety precautions. Given that the monsoon surge is around the corner, obviously the accident could have been avoided if they had taken the right precautions. But it's not just Bangalore, but this this right. situation is repeated in cities across yeah, India. Right. So the accident could have been avoided if precautions were taken as Srinath, no, BJP no. state convener joins us as well. Mr. Srinath, do you think the government should take most risk, more responsibility right now? The government has taken zero ah, responsibility hello. for Shantakumar's life. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead, sir. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. See, one is, uh, this was a very unfortunate accident uh, which, ha which happened. And uh, you remember number of years back, a uh, Maruti Van was wa washed off in this kind of a, a mini storm in Bangalore. There was a whole family sitting in the car. And it was not that we were not aware. And uh, it is a pure accident, it looks like. I mean, I wouldn't say that anybody could have avoided it in a, this one. They were trying to clear the silt. They should have done it much earlier. That is one point. But uh, he, I would like to say that the government has immediately has pushed in a lot of people to recover the body. In that action, uh, a proper uh, activity has been done by the government. We can't say that they have not done it. But I think there should have been a pre-planning in this, uh, particularly Raja Kalwe, wherever they need to clean, they should have started much earlier. The time factor is a factor which government has to accept that the BBMT delayed. This becomes a BBMP issue also. BBMP should have thought about it uh, much earlier and started the activity much earlier. Because these kind of flash floods do occur before the main monsoon comes in Bangalore. This has been a very regular affair for us. We have seen it in multiple times. Uh, I think uh, we should make it a note that uh, anybody who works on these kind of uh, Rajkalways will have to depend on the weather bureau broadcast and then take up the work. Otherwise, they should avoid. There was an indication by the weather bureau that there would be a heavy rain. So, I think uh, we, ha we have to make it uh, related to this kind of jobs, to the weather. I think uh, unless we do that, I don't think this will uh, sort out. Also, are, yeah, okay, okay, I understand it. what you're saying. Peter but, Samson uh, Babu I think is. The government should have planned these activities much earlier. Peter Samson Babu is a state executive member of the Forum for Building a Bribe Free yeah. Karnataka. Let me point out to you this research. October 2014, Banargata, eight year old Geeta, washed away into an open drain body only found two days later. September 17, 2009, uh, eight, 18 month old Vijay fell into the drain and was washed away. 2017 March in Vartur, five-year-old Samir drowned in a stormwater drain near his house. The body was recovered <laughs> later in the day. Seven-year-old Rakesh near Kingeri, March 2nd, 2017, fell into the stormwater drain. Body recovered after three hours. This is the truth of Bangalore, Peter Babu. This is unfortunately yeah. the truth. And here we are having only lost children up till now and not having learnt anything from it. And this is what police recorded. We don't know how many, how many times it must have happened more, how many people more have lost their life unrecorded. But it is the fault of the government. They have to accept this work should have started at least six to nine months earlier before the pre-monsoon set. But the government's negligence, now they have called for the tender. What they're trying to prove by calling the tender now? Can they manage the entire city of desilting the tank? And every ward must have a desilting tank. Mr. Nagraj, where are those tanks? Every three months desilting has to be done which is not done. This is the one life you lost this year. I don't know how many more lives you are going to lose. The government needs to wake up. And you are answerable for the poor people. Only you are taken of the places where all the politicians and rich people live. What about the poor people? Have you ever visited LR Nagar in central Bangalore? Have you seen that uh, Rajakarma over there? 
when when you are going to do this you know and i just want to point out i want to point out i want to point out to our viewers on your screen is a little baby he's 9 months old he has lost his father nobody can explain to him nobody can explain to him right now why his father has not come home and let me also point out to you it has been over 3 days this family is waiting for shanti kumar to come home they have not given up hope they are waiting for shanti kumar to come home his wife tells us that he told her i am going to work i will be back in a few hours he took his two wheeler and he went to work he has not come home it has been 3 days no one from the government has visited them no one from the government has communicated with this woman no one from the government has told her how she is going to have to run her life and raise that little boy all by herself because we don't know where shanta kumar is he disappeared 3 days ago he was washed away in a storm water drain in bangalore who's going to take responsibility for shanta kumar who in the government is going to take responsibility for the fact that your apathy your delay your inability to do your work on time has costed a life another life if the desilting work had happened on time shanta kumar would not have been inside the storm water drain when it started raining if the desilting work had happened on time he would not be working after 6 o'clock in the evening when will the government take responsibility and this is a question we have to all ask because today it is shanta kumar tomorrow it could be you or me they will turn around and say this was a complete accident it was nobody's fault the truth is this is not an accident this is the culmination of several years of apathy this is the culmination of several years of corruption several years of indifference if we had governments that did their jobs on time we would not lose lives lives would not be so cheap in our country madam i don't buy the argument by the spokesperson that it is an accident sorry to tell this they should take back this word because what is an accident a person is firstly working in a dangerous situation which is being allowed okay and it is it not the responsibility the person there is telling that it is the person who has gone away his brother was the contractor so what how can the bbmp dilute the rules if it is the brother and if there could be taken security measures because he is working in a such a dangerous situation as you rightly said if the work would have been completed much earlier if these things wouldn't have been done then why would shanta kumar go and do work in such a dangerous place i listen in a madam i listen in a no wait you listen to one more thing you listen to one more thing mr rangraj yadav i'll give you a point i'll give you a time i'll give you time to respond i promised you i will give you time to respond i will give it to you Let me also Sir, point out to our viewers. One second, one second, everybody, just just give me one second. To our viewers who have tuned in, we will start a pledge on this channel where you can help Shanta Kumar's family, his wife and his child, if you want to. Our phone number is at the bottom of your screen. We are working out the details of how this help can be given directly to the family. In the meantime, if you want to help out in any way, call our team. call our team and give them your contact details as soon as we have specific account numbers that you can reach directly without any intervention directly to the family we'll facilitate that you will be able to do so we will call you back and give you those details because right now what we need to do is come together as people to support this family to support this young lady and her 9 month old baby boy if the government of karnataka is not going to do it then we will do it we will stand with these people on my screen is a phone number call us give us your details as soon as we work out how you can directly contribute to the family we will call you back and we will let you know aparna is on the phone line from bangalore aparna go ahead hello i am following your debate yes uh, i am a principal of a school uh, i was seeing the statistics what you were displaying it was more about children yes Yeah. Now I have a question. When anything goes wrong in the school, the principal is answerable. The management is answerable. There's so many things happening, and why is the chief minister silent? Why is he not doing anything for all this? Who's just a very, very good question, Aparna. Thank you for calling. Who's responsible 
if something happens in an office, we know who's responsible. If something happens in a school, we know who's responsible. If something happens in the city, suddenly nobody is responsible. We also have Ruby, who's also on the phone line from Bangalore. Ruby, go ahead. Hi, Faye. Uh, welcome to the Bangalore, the city of accidents. I mean, this happens every single year. We're talking about, thankfully, a nine-month-old child who's alive. But a couple of years ago, a nine-month-old child was snatched from the mother's arm from, uh, with the raging waters and pushed into an open drain. And this is what happens year after year. And you're absolutely right. There is a nexus between the politicians, the, uh, the uh, builders, the people who collect the garbage. BBMP is a nameless, faceless entity. Only thing we know is they're thugs. They stop work or they start something. We don't, we have no access to the BBMP. We don't know who the BBMP is. Is this a nameless person for whom we pay taxes and are not responsible for anything? They pass a buck. Every government passes a buck to the other government. They keep saying things like that. We govern ourselves. Today you're starting a drive to help these people, Shanta Kumar's family. And I'm telling you, this is, this is going to be the way. This is the way where People, as people, we help each other because the government is not there for us, the people. I don't know what the hell they're doing. I don't know why they're there. They are shameless. They are belligerent. They are unanswerable. The buck stops. I don't know where. And this is the way, whether they fell the trees or whether they uh, have garbage piling up on the roads or they have big drills. I was caught in the same storm. And you know why Shanta Kumar died? Because he was the only man in the city doing his job. He was the only man in the city who was responsible. And what are they going to do? They're going to sack some junior engineer who's going to be reinstated somewhere else. But the buck has to stop somewhere. Someone has to be answerable. This has got to stop. Every year, there are cases of people being pulled and sucked into open drains, drains right. that are silted. We have lakes which are completely gone. Right, right, right. Okay, I, I promised, thank you. I get what you're saying, Ruby. I promised Nagraj Yadav I'd give him clear opportunities to respond to all comments that came in. Nagraj Yadav, this is not me. These are callers who are calling in right now as the show is live on air. Please feel free to I, I, respond I, I to them see. directly. Please respond directly. I only, Madam, I only, I only request you, I want patient hearing from others. I have listened to everybody now. First thing, let me start the colleague who was sitting with me from JDS. They should also understand instead of blaming the government here, now he the concerned, concerned MLA who has been elected, who is responsible for people of that area, he is also was belonging to JDS. And politics. the corporation, they are the partners with us. They cannot, let, I'm not politics, let me bring one to one everything I'll tell you. They cannot keep on blaming things like that. Blame game is not required. We, have, we cannot pay any price or value for Shantukumar's life. Shantukumar's life is as good as my life. I'm telling you very well, if, the, if a particular person, the concerned people are not met to Shantukumar's wife, I apologize for it. But the entire family, out for my information, they have met the family. Yeah, the government has promised an assurance by the key Mr. K.J. George that family will be protected, family will be taken care, the child will be taken care government will definitely take the responsibility of that family to take care of them in the end. I am giving official noting on this matter. No chance of ignoring that family. That's one thing. Second thing I am telling you, 365 days, the storm water drawn, not only storm water drain, Bangalore work keeps on going on. Bangalore is a growing city. The population is increasing every year. The problems also including cemeteries everywhere. One particular lady said now, I welcome her whatever feeling she has got. She said it, saying that there is no name of the BBMP. Whom are we paying taxes? No Nobody is responsible. Only Shant Kumar is uh, working. Nobody else is working. So all such things are very nice to speak. Bangalore, I'm telling you, after the Sidramaya government came to power, I'm telling you very clearly, 1,700 crores are being sanctioned for the drains to be repaired. That's where the works are going. Previous in the history, nobody has spent so much for the drains to be uh, repaired and uh, the, the retaining walls to be increased so the people don't get drowned. And second thing I'll tell you, other people also are trying to say it's not an accident, it has happened, uh, the latest. It, uh, security measures should be taken and all that. Very clearly I'm telling you, madam, it is purely an accident. Nobody intentionally has pushed anybody inside. Nobody has blamed anybody for anything. There is no political game in this. I'm telling you, Bangalore is growing every day. The problems are growing every day. I know how many percent of people pay tax. The lady who spoke now, she must have been paying the tax. How many percent of people are paying the tax, I know today. What is the percent of people who take benefit of this by Bangalore city? I know it very well. But uh, let us not go into those details. Let us protect the life of Shantakumar. I only pray on the government side. His life should, no, let, let me complete it. We only pray for his life, should, life should, he should be alive and he should come back as a father to that child. 
and I'm telling you very clearly, madam, we also stand by the government. As a government, as a corporation, as a responsible citizen, as an individual also, I will also definitely try to contribute for that family. They need a help and we shall stand by them. But definitely let us not blame the Bangalore city's administration just because of political gains or just because of somebody else to be blamed. Okay. Sorry, sir. Not okay. 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 Let me, let me now respond to you, Nagraj Yadav. Let me now respond to you. Three instances. One second. Gentlemen, gentlemen, one second. One second. One second. The gentlemen, one at a time, please do, please do not yell at each other. Please do not yell at each other. Just calm down. Calm down. One at a time. Nagraj Yadav, let me respond to your long answer. Three instances of politics. You brought up politics right now when we are talking about the life of a person. You then said that this is a government Sorry, that is Pastor sanctioned. He is no me, responsible to it. I heard you out. I heard you out. I heard you out. I heard you out. You said this no, government has sanctioned the money. Nagraj Yadav, I heard you out in silence. Not the minister from there. You hang on. I heard you out in silence. Now, please, I only ask for the same courtesy. Yes, you then said the, this government has sanctioned a lot of money, spent a lot of money. We thank you for your generosity. But I want to understand how much of this sanctioned spent money has actually found its way into the Rajkali. How much of it has actually found its way into desilting? How much desilting has actually happened? You have not told me. You then said all of this is being done because people don't get drowned. We have now a case of drowning that has caused us to have this conversation at all. And then you went on to question whether or not we pay tax. Let me point out to you that the people of Bangalore pay tax at every no, no, turn. No, no, I'm not questioning whether you're paying or not. I'm saying, you, 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 Madam, one minute, one small clarification to take it from. There are, there are how much percent of people who pay the taxes because that lady spoke about taxes to the BBMP. I know how many people take benefit of BBMP. What's happening, I know. Everybody should let me Let me point out to you, let me point out to you, let me point out to you, one second, Nagraj Yadav, Nagraj Yadav, Nagraj Yadav, one second, one second, Nagraj Yadav, calm down. You, this is hardly a time for you to be indignant, Nagraj Yadav. You should really calm down at this point and listen to what other people are saying. First of all, let me point out to the citizens of Bangalore, like citizens all over the country, you pay 72 rupees for petrol for a product that is not worth more than 30 rupees. The remaining is all state and central taxes, state taxes that finds its way into the state coffers. When you register a vote, Nagraj Yadav. I appointed, I said that everybody has to You pay taxes every time you register a house, that stamp duty goes to the BBMP. Every time a product comes into the city and out of the city, into the state, out of the state, you pay taxes, you pay service taxes, you pay state VAT. All of this goes into I'm state coffers. No. Please, no. given the number of businesses that function out of Bangalore, the number of MNCs that function out of Bangalore, the number of salaried people who live there and pay taxes and buy and buy goods and services that finds its way into state coffers, please don't turn around and tell me no, that we no, don't no, pay no. taxes. State taxes are indirect taxes. All poor people, I, rich people, I, I, old I, people, pay. young people, I, I, everybody I, pay. pays state I, I, taxes. So all pay Madam state taxes. Please don't give me... I do my homework, Nagraj Yadav. Do not, do not try to get me on data. I promise you. 7,300 crores for Bangladesh development, which any other government has given. Last year, 7,600 crores want a price spent. No, 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 no. Not a pie spent out of 7,600 crores. Same budget they have put for this year. Gentlemen, calm down. Where exactly it's spent? It is spent for the bank for development of the country. Gentlemen. Yeah, 700 crores. One second, one second. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. I think that out of respect for the life that has brought us together today, out of respect, gentlemen, one second. Out of respect for Shantakumar, we should treat this subject with respect. I know it is upsetting. Peter Samson Babu, I know it is upsetting. As Srinath, I take great offense.
when any government, Lee. not just the government of Karnataka, any government comes on my yes. show and says we have yes. sanctioned this much money, whose money? Kiska paisa? Kiske bap ka paisa sanction kya hai apne? Mera paisa hai, mere tax ka paisa hai. This is my money. It's a public elected government and the BBMC. My money. You are supposed to do it. You are supposed to sanction. You are supposed to fix. Don't turn around and show me your generosity and tell me that you sanctioned money. If you had sanctioned money, the money would have found its way into the right places. S. Srinath, did the money find its way into the right places? One second, everybody calm down. I can't hear my guests. Peter, Peter Babu, I'll give, you a, I'll give you a chance. Just give me one second. Just calm down for one second. Srinath, Srinath Aure, has the money found its way into the right places? Has yeah. the money actually worked for the city? <laughs> Srinath, can you hear me? Hmm. Hello? Srinath, can you hear me? All right, we seem to not have that connection. Peter Samson Babu, you are working for a forum for building a bribe-free Karnataka. I dislike it when governments behave as if the money is theirs and them sanctioning money is some form of generosity. No, it is, it is, it is it's taxpayer money. It's my money. It should go to the city. It should be used for No politician gives from their pocket. It is people's representatives who ask to spend for Bangalore. There. Mr. Nara, don't put mouth, must, don't put words in my mouth. Everything is there. You must bring. Ask the government to. Bring no, no, no. Energy. This is not correct. What you are talking? Just trying to fall. By trying to find fault, and everything is not the right issue. No, no. Join hands to develop Bangalore. Come to my house. I'll show you the train. It's more than one half year. Nobody has come near the train. They're trying to build a wall from past nine months. There's a 200 meter wall and still incomplete. Please come. Don't spe don't say specific in this incident. The entire no, 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 Bangalore has a concern only no, 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 after the Congress no, no, government has gone come to power. Come to power. You Shame yeah, on you. Definitely. If you come into power, we'll do a better work than you. No, no, because no, hang you on. know the ground reality. We are working on the I'm ground. Not, see, you should understand. You should understand very well what what yeah, what the Congress yeah, government is doing. The bank is understand. We have projects in our hands. We have been doing work. We have not. We are not doing like what people are saying that that we are doing nothing. The money has been siphoned off. That is not the case at all. That is not to the Congress people at all. Please. If the money is spent, where is the work? Show I, the work. I think, I think, I think it's. I think it's appalling. I think it's appalling that we're using these opportunities to further our political gains and talking about Congress, governments, or any other kind of government. We've had a tragedy. We have a family that needs help. And here we are bickering about yes, which government should take credit for whatever work has done has been done so far. I understand that Mr. Srinath is back online with us. Mr. Srinath, if you can hear me, my question is, governments are not being generous when they allocate money. It is taxpayer money. Uh -huh. It is supposed yeah. to go to the city. Has it been used is the question we should be asking. See, the point is, uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hello. Yeah. The point is, last year they sanctioned seven, yeah, they sanctioned seven thousand six hundred crores for Bangalore city. They did a good job, but they didn't use a single pie out of that. The whole budget has been transferred to this year. See, the point is, if the uh, resource available is utilized at the right time, right way, these kind of accidents may not happen. You know, these kind of piling up of the uh, this one in the uh, uh, Raja Kalve will not occur. And it is a constant working is what was needed. And they are not using the, forget the tax collection, it is a whatever budgetary sanctions they have, they have not utilized it fully. I feel there the government has erred. Uh, but the, they, they might have done the activity yesterday, day for yesterday and all that. Those things I am not really getting into. I mean they have done that, that job to, to a great extent, but unfortunately they have not been able to recover the body also. But the point is, the BBMP sanctioned, uh, budgetary sanctions have not been utilized partially also for the sake of Bangalore city in the last two years. I want to take this question to Anil Nair. Anil Nair, have these sanctions been actually used for Bangalore city? Have they been actually utilized? Sure. So you hit the nail on the head. Uh, there's no reason why, in terms of the works that are being sanctioned, or the progress of the work should be a closely guarded secret in BBMP. We have been advocating for many years now that BBMP should 
make it make its work details transparent put it on the website give let citizens know what are the works that been sanctioned whether it is dirty whether it is road laying let us know who are the contractors who are working on it so uh, unfortunately for, uh, i'm sorry to say that uh, the, the answer to your question cannot be answered by anybody because that information is not compiled and made transparent not available why is that the citizens the taxpayers money the citizens should not would not uh, should not be given the information on where is money being spent absolutely so the bbmp actually that information uh, uh, unfortunately bbmp does not put out there is no reason we believe that it should not be transparent and be available on the website the click of a button right and and there's zero transparency which is one of the reasons why we realized that uh, the bangalore city lost out on the race for smart cities because there was books are not being audited and it did not qualify the fact that such a big city so much money that we are so proud of allocating but you are not willing to give us an account of where that money is going who's using that money are we actually using it if we had used it would we have saved shantukumar's life would he be at home with his family right now would his 9 month old baby boy be playing in his father's lap today simple questions that actually have a very simple answers because the government was not accountable madam uh, can i madam i tell you that the, the gentleman now asked him madam that gentleman asked about the money spent i am telling you there is a rule very clearly it says any work is sanctioned they have to put up the board who is the contractor and what fund they are doing under what scheme they are doing what is the allocated fund what is the stipulated time it is all rules are there people can demand for all the things the local it's fund spenders are responsible for this thing i am not paper. saying no for it there is no nothing new has come what all is the rule is there who brought it up the rule who implemented the rule that is important they should not come out say that nothing is available they should do some homework it is available sir, if nothing is available for them they can madam, apply for it please tell the gentleman that we are done, no done done this year they'll get their account we are being born and brought up in mad land for the past 50 years to get the transparency today mr nagraj yadav and also mr nagraj yadav one thing i want to tell you last week madam one thing i want to tell you the government has taken the responsibility of the gentleman that we are to work there 300 laborers to go and work there to find a body the government has taken the responsibility you've lost him already for the whole day Yeah. Mr Nagraj Yadav you lost him already the reason why you have 300 laborers looking for the body is because you know this is a massive embarrassment for you as a government I am telling you madam who's responsible for the safety the government has taken the responsibility in charge minister has gone there we have instructed all the people we put a top in top class in there we have put a laborer there we have put so many one second one second one second everybody calm down everybody calm down everybody calm down everybody calm down let me point out to you nagraj one second one second one second gentlemen calm down calm down calm down nagraj yadav i am not angry with anybody ma'am let us all join hands to build a better bangalore nobody i'm not telling that we 100% perfect yes we want suggestion we want we want suggestion the people of bangalore will definitely entertain the suggestion they will definitely take forward bangalore you are treating the treating the people as your own forget about any suggestions being taken You are not even recognizing that we are not, we are local. You, you, no, no, who said you are not thinking about that? We are not. No, no, you, you, you should not think like that. All right, all right. Everybody, all calm down. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Calm down. I want to bring in some viewers. Kanaya is on the phone line right now. Kanaya. Kanaya, I want to point out before I go to Kanaya that uh, Nagraj Yadav says that the government is very serious. They have put 300 people on the search and operations right now, the search and rescue to find the body. I wish that you had put 300 people on desilting. Maybe today we would not have to look for Shantanu Kumar's body if we had actually done the job on time. And the reason why you've put 300 people on search and rescue is because you know this is a massive embarrassment for you as a government. That is why you have dedicated so many people to the job. Kanaya is on the phone line. Kanaya, go ahead. Huh. मैडम ये जो सरकार है ना जो लोगों को कॉन्ट्रेक्टर को टेंडर वगैरह देती है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वगैरह देती है तब उसका काम होता है गवर्नमेंट का कि वहाँ पे जहाँ पे सात आदमी की जरूरत होती है तो मैडम मैं आपको बताता हूँ वो लोग सिर्फ तीन आदमी रखते हैं और जितना सेफ्टी और सिक्योरिटी है ना इट इज अ वर्क हेलो हाँ हाँ हेलो यस सिक्योरिटी इज अ वर्क ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट टू सी कि जिसको ये अगर नाले पे आप भेजते हो ये गंदा काम के लिए ये गरीबी करता है तो उसका सेफ्टी और सिक्योरिटी है ना गवर्नमेंट का खुद का रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है कि वो कॉन्ट्रेक्टर को ऐसे कॉन्ट्रेक्टर को दे कि वो जो उसका जवाबदारी ले और ये मैडम मैं आपको बताता हूँ कि ये कशन के वजह से और दूसरा जैसे जो सरकारी जो बाबू लोग बैठे वो लोग बिल्कुल ध्यान नहीं देते हैं क्या हो रहा है क्या नहीं हो रहा है उनको कुछ मतलब नहीं है अगर मरता है तो गरीब मरता है मैडम और ये गंदा काम है ना सिर्फ गरीबी करता है क्योंकि वो मजबूर है ये काम करवाती है 
और इनको है ना किसी को है ना फिक्र नहीं है गवर्नमेंट में वो टैक्स भरते हैं मैडम एक दिन से गरीब माचिस भी लेते हैं ना एक छोटा सा साबुन भी लेते हैं एक लेते हैं तो वो है ना टैक्स भरता है वो क्या बोलते हैं कि टैक्स नहीं भरते इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स भरते हैं डायरेक्ट नहीं भरते तो कोई इनडायरेक्ट भरता है और इस टॉकिंग वो गवर्नमेंट का Trinath Patel, who's also on the phone line. Trinath, go ahead. Yeah, madam, uh, uh, this uh, incident has really very sad incident, and when I see the kid, I feel like crying. But uh, you know, the the uh, politician who's sitting there and talking about funding the projects. and he ha- he is uh, you know acting as if he is uh, paying it from his pocket but uh, you know you should understand that this is public no, no, money no, you are mistaken uh, don't don't talk, don't be let him let him finish mr nagra chadhav let him we have responsibility we have accountability for it we have transparency here but don't put words into your my mouth the last at least not do that please trade go and, ahead uh, go ahead sir go and, ahead i'm and, sorry and for and that you know the way the way you know and the way bbmp works Mm-hmm. no uh, uh, let me tell you about this desilting work you know what they do the guy was saying that you know they do it throughout the year but all they do is remove the silt and put it uh, next to the drain and once or twice it rains and the whole silt goes back into the drain so this is the what it happens and there is no engineer no quality check nothing is being done and you know we the citizens of bangalore are you know paying the tax you know and getting nothing out of the bbmp yes and thank you thank you for calling in thank you for calling in uh, nagraj yadav i have 30 seconds okay tanvir ahmed tanvir ahmed go ahead tanvir ahmed go ahead one second mr out of last 50 minutes i think nagraj yadav took 45 minutes uh, oh, the, the entire uh, one, one second sir you you one second sir please don't okay. because gentlemen no, 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 i don't no, no. have enough time for this we, we, actually if at all that is the case we will go back we don't want your bbmp if my 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 if my if my ml is not on there if my ml is not there let's one second one second don't show don't show don't show your fingers cannot don't show your hands because you not with the party now you cannot but however this is exactly how the government behaves no this is how the government behaves the congress government is absolutely lost responsible for this government they are not people responsible government government not to vote the back to the south on a humanity ground they have really not correct i'm going to cut you both off here right now I'm going to cut you both off here right now because this is a shameful display of politics. On a day, no, Nagra Jadhav, I'm sorry, you did not respect Anvir Ahmed's time, and I cannot, I cannot give you your time. I'm just going to end on this. I don't want to listen to political allies bicker about whose responsibility it is. It's both of your, it's everybody's responsibility. It's my responsibility. It's your responsibility watching at home. It's because we were not hard enough on our governments up till now that this child doesn't have a father today. It's because we didn't demand accountability last year and the year before that and the year before that. It's because we've constantly been given paying our taxes and giving them our money and allowing them to continue to behave like it's their money. To continue to behave that allotting a certain amount of money to the city is some great generosity that we need to be grateful for. We've allowed them to get away with it for so long, for so long that they think it's okay to sit on this show tonight, in the face of what has happened to this family, and bicker about their politics. This government, that government, this sanction, that sanction. You're corrupt. I'm corrupt. Shame on you, and shame on me, and shame on all of us watching at home. This child today is our responsibility because we did not do enough. because we didn't demand enough because we didn't stand up for what was right we walked around the pothole we walked around the manhole we walked around the garbage we allowed each government to get away with it i'm putting my phone number back on the screen along with my twitter handle my team is going to be standing by tonight taking phone calls from anyone who wants to pledge help to this family Our reporter is with the family right now working out details on how we can help and what is the best way to do so. We will open a bank account and we will allow for that help to go directly to the family with zero intervention and zero interference from anybody. If you want to help, 
get in touch with my team, leave your contact details and we will call you back. We will email details to you when we have them. I want to apologize to the family of Shantakumar for not doing more, not doing it earlier and not being a more demanding citizen of the government that has let us all down. Shantakumar is the price we have collectively paid but it is a price that this family is going to have to live with for the rest of their lives. While we continue to live with a government that settles for cheap bickering politics, we must ask for more. This cannot be enough. This is just simply not good enough. Thanks for watching.